Yeah, they would be my uh, my face right now, no problem, no? Because I'm not finding, no. uh, I'm finding some shadow. Better we'll go for live. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'm Sudipa Sarkar from Journal and Publications Department. And it's my absolute pleasure to extend a hearty welcome to each one of you present here at the webinar on JGate Database Training and Awareness Session for our members and students. Uh, we are happy to have such enthusiastic and learned audience gathered to deepen their understanding of the significant topic. So as you know, today's seminar topic, it's on JGate Database. Actually, it aims to bring to light its usage application and prospective effects on our members and students. JGET, as we know, is the most comprehensive database and gateway to access research information from over millions of journal articles covering multiple subject domains. Uh, we are fortunate to have with us today Mr. Mahendranath Sarkar. He is a training and development manager at JGET, and he will be the trainer of today's training and awareness session. So now I request uh, CMA Dr. K C H A V S N Murthy, sir. He is the chairman of Journal and Publications Committee (ICMI) to give his introductory remarks. Over to you, sir. A very good evening to all of you. Uh, today's speaker, Mr. Mahindra Sarkar, secretary of this committee, Sujatha Madam, and today's. Uh, Sudeep, Sudeep Ji, a very, very good evening to all of you. On my personal behalf and on behalf of the Council, I wish all the members of our profession good luck, better prospects in the future. Friends, very recently we had our meeting, meeting of the General and Publications Committee, where we took two important decisions, that is to educate all our members how to open the J gate and secondly series of lectures by learned people how to make a good article how to make a good case study to be published in our magazine monthly mag and as a part of this decision today i'm happy to announce you that today we have drawn shimahen sarkar the man behind the uh, gate, J gate, uh, to address us and guide all our members uh, how to open the gate and how to take management advantage of the things. Friends, I met many anxious, especially in Hyderabad and South India. They were told that, sir, we are not able to open the gate rightly. We are not able to take advantage of this J gate. Kindly come. Rescue. Then we told because I know, I know personally, I am also uh, I was also, I also did my uh, research in uh, financial management. This J gate is according to me is more efficient and comprehensive. It gives research information to us, be it any discipline like agriculture, biological sciences, arts, commerce, humanities, commerce, engineering, technology, management, any area. This organization will give us simply how to use the gate to take benefit of the all journals in the world. The research holder, with my little experience, I'm telling when anybody wants to research, do this, he feels that he knows everything. When he starts, he feels that he does not know anything. That is the version of the research area. It is my experience. I thought I know everything. I can do it very easily, but when I started the work, I found it very difficult or I, I found that I am illiterate in this area. It does not mean that I am illiterate. It, does, it means that there is a lot of information before available to us, which should be grasped, understood thoroughly and usually in our research mechanism. So as a part of this program, we have drawn Mr. Sarkar uh, from Calcutta, from this JGAT organization, who will be able to us 
make it make this uh, job very very simple make the easy to easy to use interface with everything with all the subjects basically we are interested in finance accounts management uh, this how we can differ as much as journals possible in this area research is a version and we will take only drop but after swimming much only in version only we can draw a drop of water so as a part of that uh, i am extremely happy to announce you that we have with us with the sarkar who will be able to us open the gate to various journals in the world of course electronically naturally the, the material what we get will be useful for us to make our research information and we will get a most qualitative systematic uh, information about research to do research i wish all my uh, members in the profession to come forward to do research that's very good area both academically and also uh, professionally i wish all my members who are present here take advantage of this particular session and benefit out of it and i wish all of you will become also very soon uh, doctors thank you everybody with this i uh, hand over proceedings to sridhar bhai madam for further proceedings thank you thank you sir thank you and uh, now we will starting uh, training and awareness session so i request to mr mahendranath sarkar sir to conduct the session over to you sir thank you uh, thank you ma'am uh so let me first uh, start by thanking I, I have the ma'am yes small yes sir apart from your organization I, if possible please introduce us to us mr sarkar sudeep bhai madam no doubt we know him through his organization but let us have the pleasure of introduction of mr sarkar sure sir sure and uh, if there if you are ready will request himself to be uh, introduce himself uh, mr mahendranath sarkar he is the training and development manager of jget and he will be uh, telling us uh, what is uh, the jget database actually uh, its uh, technical part and what is the objective of database and why we refer Uh, to this database, its usage, principles, and applications. So uh, I request now, uh, sir, to start the awareness and training session, sir. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, one more time. So I'd like to begin uh, by okay. Uh, introduction in a sense uh, my journal uh, journey in this profession or okay so uh, let's start with the name uh, my name is mahendranath sarkar uh, i'm a law graduate uh, i've been a research coach for last seven and a half years uh, i'm taking now uh, primarily uh, or undertaking rather uh, ugc and icr uh, programs uh, we have two ma major uh, you can say consortia uh, that we work with and along with the training and awareness program for jgate and uh, the consortia platforms that we have so uh, that's i think a brief about me uh, yeah anything else if anybody would like to know uh, i think we have a q and a and also there is a chat button right so uh, i think they can uh, use that uh, during our session and we'll try to answer all the questions uh, at the end of the session so formally let's uh, let me first uh, uh, start by reiterating the agenda that we have now I haven't got any PPT for today's session. Uh, my conviction uh, is most of you are uh, professionals working in your uh, respective domains. Uh, not typical 
uh, students, uh, UG or PG, PhD. So I thought of uh, conducting, you know, a session uh, in a bit of unconventional way. So I'll directly go to the website and from there uh, I'll start and uh, hopefully it will be uh, your worthwhile. OK, so with that I'll start sharing my screen. Mm, I hope my screen is visible. Uh, please do let me know in case if there is any glitch or uh, any issue. Uh, so let's start with uh, the source uh, where you have because uh, this facility, this portal, uh, JGate, it's been there. I think this would be the fourth year, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, since we have uh, this facility at this institution. And what usually uh, we do is in order to uh, get you access to this platform, we have created this uh, user registration form uh, that you uh, once you go to the website, uh, you see it right on the right hand side. And uh, if you are looking uh, on the screen, you can see there, there is uh, you have the search box and below it, it says click here to receive your uh, JGate login credentials. And uh, if you click on it, it gives you a registration form. And uh, once you fill it out, it actually comes to me. Uh, usually we try to create it either within uh, 15 days or 20 days. So once you register, uh, we give you the ID and password to access uh, the database uh, because without it, it won't uh, work. So in case if there is anyone who uh, hasn't got the ID and password, please uh, do register and uh, we'll uh, help you to get your ID and password. Okay. Now, once you have uh, your ID and password, uh, Typically, this is the page where you would uh, land in. Uh, you can see the URL jgateplus.com. Uh, now, before I, uh, before we delving into the platform, the content and all that, uh, as uh, Sir was mentioning about the research and all that, so we'll start from there. Uh, I think that's a very good point uh, through which uh, all of you can connect what JGIT is, what its uh, purpose, its implication, and uh, hopefully that will give you a clear direction how and uh, when to uh, use the platform and how to uh, go about it. Now, when we talk about uh, research, now there are many facets to it. Uh, and it's a I mean generic term and it it encompasses uh, many uh, dimensions uh, depending your depending on your uh, discipline. So if you are a student of social science, if you're a student of management, if you're a student of basic science, uh, they all will construe uh, the meaning uh, of research in different different ways. Uh, nevertheless, uh, one thing that we uh, pretty much all understand, we all, I mean the shared uh, commonality, you can say that, uh, you know, sort of connects all these different branches is the objective, which is uh, trying to find something new, uh, regardless of your domain, uh, whether it's a fresh uh, approach, fresh uh, methodology, uh, novelty, uh, a new way to interpret certain uh, things or uh, create a new concepts, etc. And when you think of uh, this novelty or fresh perspective, again, uh, especially if you think of management and all that, a uh, couple of things that you kind of need to uh, for get your head around. Uh, the first thing is that research is not a new uh, phenomena. 
uh, I think last 100, 200 years, we have made tremendous uh, progress when it comes to research and publication. Uh, and also, uh, 21st century, it is also known as uh, age of information. So kind of, uh, you know, gives you understanding uh, the volume of information that uh, every day uh, that we kind of generate uh, across these various disciplines. Now, uh, so we'll just uh, go sideways of research and uh, focus on the publication because that's one of the ways we kind of we can infer uh, what what you are doing and how you are doing uh, in your respective field. Uh, and it's easy to actually uh, connect uh, JGate when when you talk about uh, publication because when you are an author, you are publishing uh, your work, uh, whether you are publishing a book or a journal or even a magazine, uh, the acceptance, the recognition is uh, very much essential. And those are the indicators that uh, sort of tells the quality of your work. Now, what you are looking at is a very typical uh, paper. OK, uh, you can call it a research paper, uh, article, uh, journal paper. And what you see is that first it shows the title which uh, give, tells you uh, what the uh, paper is all about. It gives you the author's information, uh, then tell, gives you the abstract, which is uh, the summary part of this work. Uh, then it talks about, uh, then it gives the keywords. So in this case, you have lean accounting, cost management, and performance, which again uh, tells you what are the various uh, components or facets that are uh, intertwined in this work and then it takes the whole paper. Now, if you have some time, you can always go to Google Scholar because in Google Scholar, it's very easy to actually understand certain things. Uh, JGate is more of a very strict uh, scholarly platform. So what I'll show you is this. Uh, let's say that you write a paper on uh, leadership. If you just type, you can see how many uh, papers are there. So you have got around 52 lakh 70 thousand papers. Uh, this would include books, uh, maybe chapters or magazines, uh, you know, from various uh, defined sources. Uh, nevertheless, if you look at the number, uh, gives you, uh, you know, the immensity, the volume that is there available on uh, this particular topic. Now, here is something that we uh, in the scholarly domain we focus and value tremendously that is the citation and it is this citation that uh, pretty much tells you uh, tells us or tells you the significance of your work the acceptance of your work the impact of your work the value of your work or the substance of your work the more impactful it is uh, the higher the citation, you can see like this one has got more than 4000 uh, citation. Uh, if you scroll down. And if you go to some other pages here, you can see like this page, this particular article has got 300 and you'll also find articles, uh, especially if you uh, look at very recent articles where you have very uh, low citation. Now. When you sort of step in this arena and try to, uh, you know, make your own space, make your own mark. Uh, one of the things that's, uh, I think, the first and the very, you can say, uh, pivotal aspect that you need to kind of know what is happening in your domain with respect to your domain, whatever the topic that you are working with, uh, or on a concept in which. Uh, you intend to publish your work. Now, the way we do that, we always refer to database for that. And this is where actually JGate uh, comes in. It's a very handy, uh, useful uh, tool, uh, I would say, which helps you to navigate uh, that labyrinth that you encounter in this uh, age of information. Uh, uh, the amount of information, the subjects that have proliferated over the years, uh, the complexity that has uh, grown, 
uh, it's uh, tremendous actually. So what it dig it simply does is it just makes your life a bit more, uh, I would say, uh, peaceful. Uh, though that may not be the right word, but uh, you know, uh, easier might be another way to uh, look at it because everything that you encounter in JGate, uh, they're very much organized, uh, just like you know your wardrobe. So everything is organized. Uh, whatever you need, uh, you know, you can easily find it out and you can uh, work out uh, as per your need. So. Probably you have noticed that I used my own ID and password. That's why it shows uh, my name. Uh, when you use your ID and password, it will show the name of this institution and also your name alongside it. So please uh, disregard this part. Uh, I'm just using my demo uh, platform just to uh, show you uh, the features and functionality. And just a small announcement uh, in between that is we are revamping our JGate. Uh, we are working on JGate 3.0. So probably uh, in the month of January, you will have a totally different outlook. Uh, all the things, the content and uh, the value, the principle will remain same. We are adding a few more uh, features and functionalities actually in this platform. So you will probably have, uh, I would say, uh, much better experience at that time. Now uh, again, so please uh, mind that login ID and password. You need that login ID and password in order to access the portal. So if you haven't got it, uh, please uh, do register and uh, we'll help you to get your ID and password. We'll set, uh, set up your account at the earliest. OK, so once you have that ID and password, you Login. This is the landing page. Uh, on the left hand side, it shows the various subject disciplines which are covered uh, in JGate. Uh, you don't have book series and all that. You only have journals. So uh, forget about all these things. Uh, it has got uh, three separate layers. So there is a layer called My Library, and then you also have a layer for uh, your favorite articles, journals. And then you have uh, the sub field which is covered with uh, various uh, search mechanisms. OK, so for example, you have got basic search. You have browse A to Z, which is a catalog. You have author finders so in case if you know a particular you know, a name of a person, you can use this uh, author finder section. You have advanced search. Uh, it is also known as Boolean operator and or uh, nor these are the three different boolean uh, that are there you can use in order to do complex uh, you know uh, search uh, performance then you have search history which shows your search history whatever you have searched it will remain there it stays there for 30 days after 30 days it's uh, auto deletion and then last uh, you have view mark results uh, this i'll show you uh, in due course of time because uh, uh, you, it doesn't have any functionality here, but it becomes relevant when it comes to downloading information. OK, so I'll uh, talk about this one at the end. Now in my library, you will find uh, what we have done is the publication of uh, ICMI uh, is there actually here. It doesn't show anything because this is my portal. Uh, but when you log in uh, this section, it will show the catalog of their journal, all the journals that they are publishing. We have actually put under my library. And then you have my favorite. Uh, usually this is where we save our stuff uh, from the name. Uh, you can understand what it is uh, or where it is indicating. So in case if you have any preference, uh, you can always mark them and they will reflect here. OK. Now. This JGate button, this is functional by the way. Anytime you click on this JGate logo, it by default it goes to the default landing page. OK, so wherever you are, uh, anytime if you are lost, uh, not been able to navigate, uh, you just click on this JGate logo over here and it, com it comes back to the landing page again. OK, 
So we'll start with first exploring the catalog. Uh, catalog is this one. OK, uh, if you are looking on the screen, uh, browse A to Z section. This is what the catalog is. Uh, that means this is where you can see all the titles. Uh, it's similar to actually like. Uh, I don't know how many of you remember going to library. Every library has got a catalog. Uh, nowadays they don't have a catalog. You know things have become uh, technical now. They use called OPAC. So it's similar to OPAC only. Uh, so it's similar to that uh, catalog only. It shows all the titles which are available and you have to search it a bit carefully, OK? Because uh, catalog search works on the title. It doesn't, uh, the content is irrelevant. So you always have to be a bit careful uh, on the title that you are looking for. So let's say that you are looking for uh, titles on uh, cost accounting. So simply what you do is you have this option over here. Now select containing, OK, uh, because if you do starting with what it will do is. If you do this, if you use this particular setting, it will only fetch those articles wherein it starts with cost. And if you see here, it only has one uh, probably relevant title. So you have to change the setting. You have to use containing and then you search. Then you can see how many titles are there. This is the catalog which. You know uh, with the title that is uh, cost in them. So you can see like you have uh, engineering cost and production economics, healthcare cost, containment, uh, journal of beneficial cost analysis, so on and so forth. OK, now this uh, data usually it appears alphabetically, uh, but if you want as per uh, quality marker, then you can use SGR or H index. Uh, SGR stands for uh, Simogo Journal Ranking. Usually it is used for basic science, but still you can use it uh, because pretty much all the journals that we index uh, are covered with SGR H index at NAS. Now if you select SGR, you can see it will change the order and it will give you the data as per the ranking. Uh, if you are looking for something in uh, management, In management, uh, we have around more than 2000 titles. 50% uh, will be full text available. That I'll show you how many full text are there. I'll show, uh, I'll show you later on. Uh, this is just the content part uh, that we have covered. OK. Uh, you can try with any uh, keyword and it will show the number of titles which are there. Now, one other thing I'll show about those uh, titles. Like, for example, if you see this, has got the highest uh, SGR rating. Now, if you click on any of this title, what it will do is it will give you all the articles that are there online available with the table of content. OK, now. First information you see uh, the name of the journal. You, you see the publisher's name, who is publishing it, uh, the country information and all that. Uh, this is a peer reviewed uh, title. And on the left hand side, you have the table of content. So they probably went online in the year of 2007 and since then uh, they are publishing. Uh, so that is biannual. So that means every year they have two volume. One is in J uh, Jan and other one is in June. <coughs> now different journal will have different uh, uh, set of volumes or frequency. So this will be always uh, you can say dynamic. It depends on the uh, journal or it depends on the publisher. OK. So. Yeah, I think that so for, if you go to this one, yeah, so this one you can see they started or they went online since uh, 1980 all the way. Now they have 2023 and uh, this is a monthly uh, journal, so that means every month they have 
a volume and in each volume you can see how many titles that they have published okay so like uh, usually eight nine depending on you know it can be even more than that and these are all the titles by the way okay uh, within a single uh, journal now one particular feature that i can uh, mention right here if you want to search uh, within journal itself here is the option this is though this is not uh, the generic search this is searching within a journal means let's say you have a particular journal and you know that okay this journal they are publishing data or they are publishing articles uh, in last 10 15 20 or 50 years and you want to find out uh, if they have anything on on a given topic so then we only use this one so again uh, let's say you want to see if they have anything on leadership and you search it will give you all the titles that they have on that specific topic so any uh, title uh, which are let's say most prestigious or world renowned uh, you can always uh, use that particular option in order to you know even search within the uh, within a particular journal itself so that's all about the browsing the catalog, uh, the title. Uh, again, one thing uh, already I uh, cautioned you about that this is not a pragmatic search, so you need to always keep in mind that it will always search on the semantic. So I'll give you an example. Uh, when you search something on management, okay, you will not get Nature, okay, which is one of the most prestigious journals in the world. Now. Let me show you one thing that even nature. Uh, this is the journal that I was referring to. If you go to nature. And here, let's say if you type again. You can see that they even have, uh, you know, content on leadership. But the title is nature. So you always have to keep that thing in mind whenever you are uh, exploring this platform. Otherwise, if you forget, then it will just, you know, cause a lot of confusion. We are changing this method. We in the new volume, uh, we are including new algorithm that will have give you that pragmatic uh, uh, search mechanism. But uh, till that happens, please, uh, you know, uh, just be a bit careful. Uh, from this page, a couple of things uh, just for your information. Most of the titles that we index, they are peer reviewed. Uh, we also have a separate uh, category for professional and industry journals uh, that you can explore if you want. Uh, there is a section for only Indian journals. If you, uh, you know, uh, so options are there. Then comes on the uh, left hand side, you have subject classification. Uh, as per your need, you can switch them on and off. So for instance, let's say that you are looking for something from management. Here you can see accounting and auditing, banking and investment, e-commerce, economics, public relations, so on and so forth. You have a separate uh, section for mathematics. Uh, those of you uh, working closely with mathematics or different uh, equation, uh, this section might be relevant so you can uh, explore to some degree. You also have uh, social science, so journalism, mass communication, political science, sociology, uh, psychology. Uh, these are again all covered under uh, social science. So uh, whatever you need or uh, whatever exactly that you are looking for, you can always uh, explore as per uh, these uh, filter which are available. OK, so let's say that I, I want to find out the catalog for accounting and auditing. OK, so you select accounting and auditing, leave the rest and then you click on apply filter. OK, sorry, I actually here I selected nature that time. Yeah, so first deselect or switch off all of them. 
go to business and economics and management select your respective domain and then go to apply filter now you can see how many titles are there so there are uh, 400 plus uh, titles on accounting and auditing now data again as i said uh, it will be alphabetically uh, if you don't want it if you want uh, as per quality marker then go for h index or sgr and then it changes now you can see journal of finance has got uh, highest H index rating followed by management science, accounting review, so on and so forth. Okay. So this is pretty much all about the uh, browsing catalog or browsing the titles. You also have a section for publishers and everything. Uh, I do not know whether they are re really uh, you know, relevant to you. Uh, usually we refer to these when we are trying to find out uh, you know a publisher for our own publication so if you are looking for something you can always try that uh, you, you have pretty much uh, all the publishers listed uh, if you click on them it also shows which title they are publishing so uh, if you are like again uh, looking for something uh, for your own publication that you can uh, certainly refer to this section. OK, uh, browse by latest update. This is where we update our last 30 days work. So this always keeps changing every month. So now let's say today is 30th uh, November. Uh, again, if you go next week, you check this latest update, it will be different. So the basic idea is this, whatever, because this, you know, uh, integrating or indexing the data it happens at the back end and we need to do it manually so uh, pretty much you can understand the amount of uh, information that every day we include into the database so whatever we do in a month we always feature it under the latest update okay. so that's pretty much all about the catalog browsing the catalog or browsing the title now coming to the uh, most important part, which is the uh, browse by uh, or sorry, uh, basic search or the advanced search. Now, these are the two search methods. Probably you will be using the most when it comes to extracting information. OK. Now. I'll just uh, I can give you a case study, but then let me first show you how we uh, navigate or rather OK, let me start with this one, OK? Uh, I'll use advanced search just for the sake of uh, making an argument, OK? So uh, I also, uh, I think in the beginning, as I say, I'm a law graduate, but I also have a, psycho a psychology major, and pretty much that is what I'm very much passionate about. Now, in psychology, there are a lot of things you can study, like uh, one of the topics that you have in management leadership. We also study that in psychology. We study uh, memory. We study uh, intelligence, uh, uh, different uh, psychoanalytics and all that. Now, one topic I'll just talk about that is stress. OK, now once you type the topic. OK, before I uh, talk about the topic, let me just uh, take you back to the paper, OK? Uh, why I'm showing you this paper? See, JGate is pretty much all about articles. This is a typical article. This is how a typical article looks like. Now, every article has this particular section. Every article will have keywords. Like in, if you refer to this particular paper, there are three keywords. One is lean accounting, one is cost management, and then other is performance, which is a generate. Maybe it's uh, pertaining to performance of a, a company or a sector, something like that. Now, these are the keywords that you need to use when you are using JGate. If you type, I, I need articles on cost ma management, it will not work in that manner. Most of uh, scholars I have seen what they do is they will try something like uh, gene heritability of you know uh, rice, let's say uh, resistance, something like that. Uh, the, this platform will not work in that manner because what you are doing is you are doing uh, you know what we call phrase search. It doesn't search based on the phrase. 
it search based on the keywords. So you always have to keep that in mind whenever you are searching in JGate. Otherwise, uh, it will really give you a very difficult time. OK, now once you are thorough about the keywords, if you. Uh, now I don't want to teach you about the keyword part. I, I'm sure all of you know what keywords are, uh, how different semantics are, are constructed, the synonyms. If there is an acronym, anything, you can always uh, you know play with those keywords and try and different combination and search. Okay. Now, for this particular topic, again stress. What I wanted to show you is the beauty of this particular platform. Okay, if I take uh, this particular topic and search why we refer to database. Uh, you can see right here. OK. When you look at this schematic literature, this is the most important part uh, in publication or in research. What happens is that in research one thing, uh, you know, it uh, you need to kind of juggle with the data to get uh, some understanding. Like uh, if you remember, I talked about citation and. The couple of things there, OK, if you look at the global ranking, if you are top 1% scholar, uh, your citation will be sort of above 1 lakh. If you are an average scholar, it will be somewhere between, let's say 25 to 30,000. But. If you come to. Uh, Indian scholarly, uh, let's say, uh, scoring, 99% do not even reach the threshold of 10,000. How do you know that? You can even do it. It's very simple. You go uh, Google Scholar, type, let's say, you want to check I am Kolkata. Okay, see how they are publishing. You type the name, go to profile. You can see. Like this author has only been cited 2649 times, which is a very poor. Uh, if you consider the global benchmark, that's a very poor ranking or poor number in that respect. And most of the, I mean, the problem is actually that we all encounter is this. Most of the work or 99% work become duplicative or uh, in other words, uh, you can call derivative. Duplication, repetition, uh, copy, whatever, whichever way you would like to look at it. And this is what actually helps you kind of to understand uh, that uh, deviance or that derivativeness which is there. Like. In this particular topic, you can see or uh, most of you understand that most of the research happens under psychiatry or psychology. But if you look at the schematic literature, you can also see you have research done under neuroscience. You have research done under biochemistry. You have research under pharma. Uh, you also have research done under botany and uh, public health as well, which is a social science domain. Now this is the this is what we call top 10 schematic distribution. If you go to the left hand side, this is where you can see the complete list. And you can see the various other branches that one way or other relate to this particular topic and somebody has published one thing or the other about that particular uh, concept or an idea. And this is what first we always recommend or I think necessary uh, for any scholar or any author to understand. What people already have done or. Uh, what has already been accomplished, what has already been proposed across various branches. And then comes your own uh, judgment, your own intuition uh, that helps you to take the next step. Uh, you know, uh, it's, there is something called gap analysis and all that, but that's a different aspect altogether. But this is what actually it does. It gives you this uh, schematic literature that really helps you to understand this. Uh, you can say this roots and branches uh, sort of uh, anthropology, you can say of a particular concept or a notion. 
Uh, same if you go for, let's say, cost uh, management or cost analysis, whatever. And you can see uh, under cost analysis, now most of the, why it is showing public health mechanical. Okay, let me just uh, reset this one. Probably it's still taking um, from that one. Okay, let's say cost management and then you search. Now, most of the uh, papers are published under business management, but then uh, you also have articles under um, economics, accounting and auditing, information science. Uh, you have few other domains. I think uh, these are the areas wherein the application lies. So you also have civil engineering. Uh, maybe it, it will refer to the applied domain of your subject. And if you click on the subject. Now again, this gives you the complete uh, distribution of that schematic literature. Uh, here also you can see how many full text are available, OK? And the total number of literature. Now these are all peer reviewed literature. Uh, they are aligned as per the date of publication. So that means the latest paper will always be at the top and then it will follow the order. Now, for example, if you uh, if you're reading this, you can see this paper is from December 2023. So from the next month, actually. This uh, the second paper is also uh, from December uh, 2023. And then if you keep scrolling down, you will have older and older papers. OK. Now two things might have uh, two things might be or rather two approaches might be there uh, when you are on this page. Uh, if you are doing literature review, then you can start from here. Uh, if you are, uh, if you only want to download full text, uh, means the papers which you have full access, then you need to switch the layer, okay? You need to click on full text right next to the all tab. Once you click on full text, now all the papers here you find, they are available at your disposal. You can download all the papers which are there. Okay, if you click on any of the articles, uh, first you see the author's name, you have the author's email, affiliation, the ranking, and then you have got the keywords like this one has got digital twin, railway management, uh, maintenance, asset management, so on and so forth. Then you have got the abstract. You have citation statement. And then you have got the full PDF attached in this link. If you want to download the full PDF, you can download from the uh, from this link as well. If it is read, that means we don't have access. Uh, but one thing you can always try that is uh, most of the papers have got this author's email address. OK, so in case if you encounter any page that you article that you do not have access or we do not have access, you can always send an email to the author. And there is a high likelihood that he or she will get back to you and he'll get the soft copy from the author. OK. Uh, citation statement is again, it's a advancement of citation. Uh, as uh, we uh, in our research domain, we say citation is everything. It tells you what kind of scholar you are or what kind of author you are. So uh, this is an advancement uh, in that direction. It shows uh, total citation. It shows the nature of citation, whether in supporting or mentioning or in contrast. Uh, if you click on it, you don't have full access to it, but if you want, you can explore it to some degree. It's actually a third party application that we have integrated. Uh, you, you can try it out. Actually, you can do a registration. You will have you will be able to explore to some degree, but then not entirely. 
uh, this platform cost I think around 10 lakh or something like that. So anyway, if you are interested in citation and all that, and if you are publishing work rigorously, uh, I think uh, it becomes relevant at that uh, point of time. Okay. Uh, you have again citation box. You have uh, add to folder option. You have print option. You have mail option. So that means uh, in case you have your colleague or your friend, uh, you want to email this article, but make sure that he also has access to JGate. Okay. Uh, if you send it to somebody who is not within, uh, let's say, the JGate membership or uh, ICI membership, then it will not work. And you can also download this paper, uh, the metadata from this uh, link as well. Now, here I'd like to show you something. Let's uh, say that you want to, you don't want to read now these papers. OK. Uh, so what do you do? Because reading on the paper is often difficult because you have to keep clicking. Uh, you have to find out its relevance. Uh, if it is not relevant, then again you click on the next one, uh, do the same thing, and it kind of becomes a very boring and tedious job. So what you can do is you can download at a time 100 articles. So what you have to do is first you mark all the papers that you want to download. OK, once you have done the marking, then you click on view marked results. Remember uh, I told you at the beginning that I'll uh, talk about this one uh, when it becomes relevant. Usually it doesn't do anything, but now it is relevant. So once you have done the marking, you click on view marked results. It will give you the preview. OK, so these are the 100 papers actually that I selected. You do one final selection. And then you click on this download button. There are various formats. Uh, the most commonly used format would be the PDF one, so you can select the PDF and you can download. So if you want to read later on and then you come back and download the full text, so those you can do later on, but uh, this will just sort of be a one single PDF in which you can read uh, all the articles that are there. Okay. Uh, so the subject part I told you, uh, this is the schematic distribution of the complete literature. It will always change depending on your subject and this is a section I would say that you, you have to spend most of your time to understand the various nexus or you know this uh, relation that it has uh, across various uh, whether it's social science or uh, basic science. OK, the next uh, big filter is the author filter. You can always check this out. Uh, one thing you will always find that these are the. Uh, most cited authors actually. Uh, whenever whatever the topic that you use. So if you check their scoring, they are always at the top. So gives you some idea who are the papers who have done the maximum work. Uh, and if you want to follow them, you can do uh, in the same manner. You you know follow things on Twitter or Facebook. Uh, then you have got the journals. So these are all the journals from where you have 3000 this four almost 4000 titles that you were looking at. So here are the list of journals. And you also see along with the numbers. So how many? Articles are there. So for example, this one has got 48. This one has got 45 and you can again keep exploring all these things in case if you have any preference, you can go for you know maybe uh, top 10 journals or maybe 20 journals and you can explore uh, in order to understand the trend of publication. Uh, then you have the ranking. Uh, this thing is also there. OK, if you want, you can also explore uh, use this. So as I said that the data is organized as per the data publication, so the latest will be at the top and then it will follow the order. Uh, but again, if you are uh, looking for something more uh, paper as per the quality, you can do that. Okay. Uh, then you have the year. 
again uh, it's an analytical tool uh, if you want to understand the evolution of a concept evolution of a you know topic uh, this is a section that becomes very much relevant uh, if you go to you know past uh, volumes or uh, past articles sort of will tell you what kind of articles uh, were being published at that time and you can also easily check uh, the kind of articles that are being published uh, very recently uh, helps you to um, evaluate uh, the patterns and the changes that happened over the period of time a country of publication if it is needed you can use it and these are the publishers actually again uh, so for some people it is relevant for some it is not uh, but you can always in case if you have preference of some publishers uh, some people do so you can use this filter at that time okay university you will not have uh, for a separate reason so uh, these are the uh, what would you uh, would i say it? Uh, common filters that you will encounter okay now one other thing i would like to show you that how we kind of uh, use boolean operator okay because in boolean operator whenever you have a phrase uh, as i said that uh, you cannot search actually phrase in this platform but what you always can do is you can use boolean operator okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give you an uh, let's say example of uh, let's say rice okay uh, title and keyword next i can search paddy again title and keyword you can add okay do not use uh, and operator okay i'm supposed to use or operator uh, rice also has a technical name and same now sorry this one the spelling was wrong okay okay anyway uh, please disregard that now what you can do is once you have the generic information you can always use refine search in order to narrow it down so it's called top down search actually uh, let's say you are looking for a genetic variances of different uh, rice uh, species so this would be the uh, section uh, through which you can filter it okay click on refine search now if if you want you can even refine it further if you are looking for uh, some issues with let's say uh, resistance maybe you can always click on refine search and it will keep on refining you know to the degree uh, data are available now let's say that you don't want uh, resistance you want to see uh, stress uh, genetic stress heritability so what you simply you can do is you can click on this cross okay so the resistance now that filter is gone and you can type now stress now the the phrase sort of become the genetic stress resistance with respect to different uh, paddy or rice variety you don't have to write variety because at the moment you type uh, rice by default it will take actually uh, all of them so now you can see how many paper so this is the most effective way actually uh, you can use uh, jgate so start with the generic uh, keyword and then you try uh, to specify as per uh, a common keyword or maybe any technical term if that is there so you can uh, do that and you have that flexibility of you don't have to always go back and start from the zero simply you just if you don't want stress let's say okay i don't even want uh, genetic uh, so again it comes back to the generic topic that i started with which is the rice or paddy this is the most effective way or the best way actually you can navigate uh, just one precaution whenever you are on this page these are all the titles by the way okay uh, this is a peer review sign 
do not click on the title. If you click on the title like this, if I click here, it will not open the article. It will go to the journal now. So just a common mistake people make. So do not click on the journal because this is the name of the journal in which this particular article was published. So you need to click on the title. If you click on the title, then it will give you the metadata first. This one we don't have access. So that's why it says uh, this has got an option called find in library. Uh, if you click on it, it actually shows which are the library uh, who have got access to this. If you want, uh, you can always send them a request that you know it will be uh, just basically asking them for a soft copy of that. So you can do that. OK, if you want. Uh, you can try that option. So that is what the finding library is all about because JGate is one of the actually widely used database. We have around more than. Uh, oh, I'm done, I'm done. Uh, we have around uh, thousand plus I think universities and colleges included. So uh, many of the colleges, universities, they have also listed their uh, resources. So at times this will actually come in handy and help you. So I think uh, that summarizes uh, what JGate is and how effectively you can make the best uh, use of it. OK, so I think now it will be uh, wise if we open up for some Q&A. Uh, so now I'll just stop and. I mean, the session is already open for the q a right okay okay then so if anybody has any question or query any doubt uh please uh, post it on the comment or the chat okay okay great then ma'am then uh, can you read okay okay ma'am can first question came can we get info through JGate portal mentioning the journal is in Scopus or ABDC database? Uh, no, ma'am. Scopus we cannot mention because the scope we have a list actually. We have Scopus Web of Science listing there, but the Scopus is their own proprietary product. Just like uh, if you talk, go for impact factor, that is a, a product of Thompson router. So we cannot actually go ahead and mark. We can only mark uh, the publisher who is publishing it, uh, but then we cannot mark it. But if you need that list, you can send me an email or just send an email to ma'am. Uh, we can give you the entire list. So that is always there, but we cannot actually mark it in the platform. That will be a sort of. Uh, there will be legal consequences if we do that. Next question. Can we go for specific journal like HBR? Yes, yes. Harvard Business Review, right? Mm. Yeah, so for that, uh, you can always use the catalog section. Uh, in terms of uh, journal coverage or whenever you are uh, exploring the title, use the catalog. Okay. Uh, the catalog will give you pretty much uh, all the titles, all the lists that we have. So for just uh, figure out like Harvard Business Review is, I think it is written as in the same manner, right? Mm -hmm. Harvard Business mm -hmm. Review. So you can just type Harvard and it will. What's the spelling, ma'am? HBR. No, that's an HBR. Mm -hmm. Is the journal also states HBR? Yes. Let me check. Yes, uh, this one. HBRC. I don't think so. HBR. This is a Harvard Business Review. Yeah, I think it is written also as Harvard Business Review. Mm -hmm. What's the spelling of Harvard? H A R V A R D. H A R V V A R D. Harvard Book Review, Harvard Business Law Review. Yeah, yeah. I think Harvard Business Review is also good. Uh, no. They can go for specific journal. Yes, sir. answer is yes. Next question restricted only to title or article content. 
Our article content is also available for download or direct read. Uh, the full text is always uh, part of the third party link that are there. The green link that you saw, every article has got a green. Either it will be green or the full uh, red. If it is red, that means we don't have access. We only have access to the metadata. Okay. Uh, if you need the full text, either you can try that author. Or you can uh, send me an email. Uh, this you see the send box. If I have access, I can try to uh, you know send you the soft copy. But that's a side way. Uh, but as far as the platform is concerned, if it is green, then the PDF will download in a separate window, just like the one that I showed at that time. Because PDF, full PDF, you cannot read in this uh, platform. Uh, in the platform, you can read in the abstract or the metadata level. Next question, how we can look for SEMA and IMA journals and read the text of articles? We have a section here called the author address. Now, I do not know if it is always as per CMA. Yeah, so you can try this method. So what we do is. You go to advanced search, OK? Here there is a section called author address. This is usually we call affiliation. Now here if you try CMA and then search, it gives you all the articles which are exactly you know in this particular order. Mr. Sarkar, we don't find. Really can see. CIMA. Mr. Sarkar. Yes, yes. CIMA. CMA articles, IMA journals. Yes, sir. Any, um, it will always uh, so they can uh, plus affiliation. What? Sir, uh, C I M A, right? Yes, yeah, C I M A. Yes, let me just find one. Uh, uh, yeah, in the university. So this is the method actually by which you can see. So probably have to spend some time looking for a one that's there. But then what it will always do is it will always look for this particular affiliation. So this one it's also giving something because there is a separate name called CIMA University. That's why it's giving. But uh, you should try with that exact name like cost institution, so probably that might give you some additional information. If Mr. there is Sarkar. any publication from any manufacturer, can uh, one search for it? Yes, I'll show you that. Just give me one second. Okay, so for that, there is one option here if you are you're seeing here there is a section called professional and industry journals. Now, if you just click on any topic, let's just say it is management. Title keyword. And if, you, if this section on, button. then you can search now all the titles that you will find if are all industry journals. You can see like IRO Journal of uh, Sustainable Wireless System, SNEPs, Economies. So these are all actually sort of like magazine industry journals. The only difference is between industry journals and academic journals. Academic journals come with a peer review tag, but if it is uh, industry journals, they don't have peer review, but all the other standards are pretty much the same. If you are seeing here, see you don't see that uh, head that you were probably seeing earlier. See all the titles are pretty much the uh, same. Mine so, wants to say something. Sir, please tell us. Sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're able to hear Sarkar Ji. Mr. Sarkar, you're able to hear. You're able to hear. Now me? audible. Yes, aud you are audible. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Sarkar. We had very good uh, introduction from you. Most useful. Normally, the mistake is what exactly what we do. What we should not do, and uh, you have also introduced Google Scholar. Uh, thank you. I uh, can can you now right now open my with uh, articles written by me, for example. 
I will write yes, now. Tell my name. Yes, 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 yes. We can do that one. We can do that one. Do that one. Okay. Just give me your full name, sir. K. K. Yes. C H one one. C H. C H. C H. Next K. Sorry, sorry. C H A A A. Yeah, yeah. Separate, separate, separate. 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 Fourteen means I have fourteen. Two thousand twelve. Saying that uh, he has uh, 14 publications. Mm. So in this one, we somehow we are only seeing 10. So four mm. is missing. So we, uh, we'll find out, sir. Then I'll check uh, where you published and uh, okay. in which year. I'll check that one. Okay. From my side, a big thanks to you, Mr. Sarkar. You beat content or beat substance. Uh, you have proved that you are a most good speaker yourself and you have opened uh, gates of J gate to all of us with good accessibility timely accessibility and also from the angle of relevance reliability and uh, research angle a big thanks to you uh, for my personal side and on behalf of our committee uh, members if you have any doubts are there uh, please, uh, uh, we will take with the permission of Mr. Sarkar. We have recorded this program, sir. We will uh, make it available to all our members whenever it is necessary. First point. Secondly, if it warrants, we will again disturb you. Uh, whenever it is required from our side, we will disturb you. I mean, we will take your inputs again and again. Uh, Okay. Uh, maybe, sir, in the month of uh, January or February, we will see because we are, uh, you know, about to launch JGate 3.0 and there will be a few more features actually. So maybe that time we'll also try one more session. Sure, sure. With all the additional features, what we are going to incorporate and operation will do in one in the month of January last. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, Sarkar. And over to our secretary, Sujatra, madam. Namaskar, Namaste. We express our sincere thanks to all of you. Special thanks to our chairman, sir, for supporting and guiding us. And special thanks to our resource person, Mr. Mohandranath Sharkar. If you have any query, please send it to us. 
journal at the rate icmai.in and journal.hod at the rate icmai.in. As Namaskar, Namaste. Thank you. Thank you, Arthur. Dear uh, past accountants, we have got a, a separate exclusive WhatsApp group of, of team of the General Publication Committee. I am uh, able to uh, okay, all my learning friends in the Institute who are employees of the Institute. You are most welcome to contact or take any Thank you, sir. Thank you. Would you conclude the session?